All right, so um, this isn't about the Monte Carlo, but um, I have a plan for the Monte Carlo, and it involves a big block, and it involves an LS motor, and it all involves LS coils. So I was on like Facebook Marketplace looking for some Gen 4 or 5 LS smart coils, you know, the, the LS3 style. And I, and I got to looking, and I found something pretty interesting that um, I had to get, but even if I don't do anything with it, but I think I'm going to do something with it, um, at least I got my coils out of it. So I'm going to flip this around. So I got, I found a guy who, who had an LV3 and an LV1, which is, if you have never seen one of these, it is a, like a Gen 5 LT1, or the L83 or the L86, which is the, uh, the V8, but this is a V6. So it is a 4.3 liter V6 with direct injection. And, um, you know, heads that are like a, like an L83, which is the 5.3. This one had a lifter failure, I believe. This one had a lifter failure or something too. But um, this one's an LV1. This one is an LV3. And the LV1 didn't have the VVT or it didn't have the displacement on demand. I think they were in express vans. They were in, um, you know, the Sierra and Silverado, kind of the lower end. But um, I guess they make uh, like 285 horsepower and 300 foot-pounds of torque. And, um, but yeah, it's a, it's basically an LT1 with a little bit different bore. I think it's a 3.92 bore. And the LT1 and the L86 are four inch bore. And the 5.3 L83 is a 3.78 bore, just like a 5.3 LS motor. And this one was the one that came out of the truck, I guess. And it, it was outside and I think the, the uh, tarp blew off, so it's got some stuff on the cylinder. So this one's gonna definitely need rebuilt. Here are the direct injectors and all that kind of stuff. And then some of the, I got 12, um, I got 12 coils for an LS project, but I also got these, and I think one of these I can make work and might be cool to go in something. Um, and I've been seeing, so I've hit YouTube and been searching, and I work with Howell EFI, my day job, and they have been making harnesses for these and the LTs and the LSs and stuff. And uh, <clears throat> they make the harness, computer, etc., for these. And they are seeing them a lot in like off-road applications. So like a, an old Jeep or a Toyota Land Cruiser or something like that. But I mean, the specs that I heard on it is that fully dressed, it's 100 pounds lighter than a uh, aluminum LS engine. So that's 100 pounds. And I also measured these. Um, and I believe that, you know, the deck height or the deck from here to here is about 17 and a half inches. And over here I have a LY6 LS motor and a LC9 5.3, aluminum 5.3. And I believe from here to here it's about the same measurement. It's about three inches shorter. I think it's 20 and a half, almost 21 inches. So it's about three inches shorter overall than an LS motor. So think about smaller cars or smaller uh, trucks, you know, and putting something in that. Um, there's some of our hammerheads right there that we're mocking up. And the other, the other cool thing about these is that they have the exhaust rockers are the same rockers as the LS7 heads. So they're 1.8 rockers. Um, what else? I think Mar I've been looking up parts for them, and let's see. Scoggin Dickey makes a 
whole bunch of stuff. They make, I think, two or three stages of cams. They do a DOD delete kit. Um, they've got some cool videos, which I could link to, where they uh, they dynoed the, the cams, and they also put a turbo on one of these. I don't know what cam was in it when they did the turbo, but they made 600 and something horsepower and like 700 and something foot-pounds of torque. Now, I know in Grand Nationals, I, I was a turbo Buick V6 guy. I've had, I've had three different turbo Buicks and over my years and we didn't have an all aluminum block and direct injection and these also have forged cranks um Scott and Dickey has a piston and rod combo I think they're Wiseco pistons and Molnar rods or K1 I'm not sure exactly you'd have to ask them I guess but um I think I can get this one fixed and you know get new um, get new lifters in it and go through it. This one would probably need to be bored and everything and, and gone through. Maybe that gets the uh, piston rod combo. Also, um, Brian Tooley makes uh, a couple cams for this. Like they have a Truck Norris Junior cam, which is cool, and then they have a. I think they have another stage kit or whatever duration. I think I've seen Richard Holdner do some stuff on it. But um, everything that I'm seeing, it, you can make 360 horsepower basically with a, just a cam change on these. And it's 100 pounds lighter than an LS. So imagine that like in a Miata, it would fit better. Or an RX-8 or another Turbo Buick or an S10 or something like that. Lots of cool possibilities, and I think Frankenstein has a program to port these heads. They're basically an L83 head with um, less less cylinders, two less cylinders. So I just thought that was pretty interesting, and um, I was really just looking for coils, but for the price, I couldn't pass this up. So I can either sell these, or um, I probably want to use one for sure, and then maybe sell the other one or or maybe build it i don't know but i thought this was a cool find and i don't i see a little bit of stuff out there about them but they made these from 2014 to 2022 i think they were done making them now um and i was at the nmca race weekend before last and i talked to the guys at skog and dickey and and they have some cool stuff for them so i'm gonna see what all is there and uh but yeah, I, I think this is a neat little thing, um, and uh, just like all the LT stuff, they the lifter issue is the big thing with them, so, so they're kind of in high demand for replacements, but uh, this guy, he had the lifter issue, and he just got rid of the truck after trying to fix it, so kind of lucky day for me. I won't say what I got him for, but it was way, way less than you'd find in the junkyard, and he knew that too. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. How about a cyclone or a typhoon with one of these? I mean, there's a, there's a lot of cool ideas that could be done with this. So, let me know what you think in the comments, and I might link to some stuff. And I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it should be cool. Thanks. Like, share, subscribe, all of that. Thank you, guys. ET Enterprises.